So he was hunting a place to go. Why not hook up with his old boss, Mike Young? Finds Mutz, a lead for three. Great start to the season for Tech. And had 24 in the ACC tournament, now poised for a big season as well for Tech. Loose ball, Aluma flying on the floor. Fast break. Up for Mutz. Aline corrals it. Heads up play by Jules there to be aware of the shot clock. Mutz connects. You called it earlier. Ojiako wants to become a medical doctor when his playing days are over. Trayvon Mangum trying to get the Highlanders on the board. Aline knocked it out of his hands. On the, on the call with him this week, I asked him if he liked his team. He said it does. A lot of coaches don't say that, Mike, early on. You know, they'll say we've got a lot to work on. Young. First points tonight the, come from the Himalay. Yeah, this guy is strong. Dixon Conover topped it up. Aline has Mutz with him. Oh! Oh! Mutz went sword, Paul. Justin Mutz bringing the energy and the electricity. Yeah, and you can tell how heady he is. Uh, I like when we were at the shoot around. He's a coach on the floor. You see, Aline is feeling it. Again, you see Naheem Aline being able to fill it off to a good start. Open look for Aline. Can he finally cash in? He does from the corner. His first field goal of the day. You know what's wild, Huck, is, is like you said, even if Virginia Tech scores, Cornell's going to go in transition. And he will lean on the leaner. That's pretty. Mutz tracks it down in the backcourt. And he will lean. Pure jumper. Aluma outside this time and swishes in a triple. Smart play in transition. The little drag screen and then pop out to the three-point line. Away from home for Virginia Tech, and it's showing early on in this game, Jay. The Hokies have started shooting 0 for 4 from the floor. Lee changes it. Much needed three. Willing to work. What's their mentality? Seems applicable to the college game. Who wants to be really good? Who wants to work at it? Kev Aluma does. Let that bullish play get to the rim, and he's finding that out quickly. Aluma, the strong drive. He's in double figures with 10. He's actually guarded someone else and came over from the strong side and blocked that shot. Great job. Looked like Wesley was home free. I thought it was a layup. Ali connects, and it's a two-point game. For the Hokies, an 8-0 run after this triple from Naheem Ali. Ali with a nice step back. He comes off. Drives Wesley back, fresh minute. High finish with the left hand. Hunter Couture on the floor, up ahead, two on one. A lean all the way to the rim. Starting to build up a little bit of a sweat here. Aluma guarded by Karnick. A lean lets it fly. They're getting beat in conferences at the free throw line. A huge deficit in their game so far. Aluma right on cue. When you play teams like this, you tend to worry about concepts. You don't worry about the plays because you're, you're, you give too much information to your guys and then they're thinking more than they had 23 offensive rebounds the last game against Wake Forest and still lost. I mean, when you get them, you got to finish them. Naheem Aline is two for two. Second leading scorer for the Hokies ties the game. Aline. Head fake. Gets to the bucket. Gets the back. Hokies on a 9 0 Sean Padula one on three three point shots. Couture now, and he'll drill one in, as mentioned. And two made threes to start our game tonight as you take a look at the Hokies starting five. And Jay Georgia Tech comes out in their matchup zone, but that's key up for them. So crafty, everything but the finish there for Virginia Tech. Ripped away on the other end. Fed ahead. Aluma lays it up and in. Oh. 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 
squeeze it through the G, another turnover. And that's where he really took his game to the next level, Malcolm. Yeah, and it's just amazing where he said, look, I thought he would be a good maybe 9.6 rebound. Now he opens the scoring, takes the lid off the rim with a three. Yeah, that's, that's uh, obviously uh, another reason, not the only one, uh, that they're trailing, but... Justin! Try to sink in, then they're going to swing it around and get it to the perimeter shooter. Syracuse looks rattled right now. Off the turnover, it's a lean, laying it in! Timeout, Jim Behan! A lean, pro. Got it over Ancelo. Great drive, penetrate the middle of that zone, getting to that same spot, playing off two feet. Storm Murphy, his name comes from his mother's maiden name, and also the fact that he was born in a snowstorm, another backdoor pass. That's your five-man finding a guard. For Virginia Tech is on par with Virginia this season when he's considered the efficiency. Mutt's doing the physical work while Murphy comes in and gets picked up the board. This is Storm Murphy, a pair of fives going on the baseline. Now a lean, leaning, and knocks it down. And building confidence, and all of a sudden, you see him start making step back threes, and Caleb Love's got it going. A lean on the drive and the foul. Now both teams sloppy early, still looking for a first basket. Murphy, the drive and kick, he had the shot. A lean for three, it's true. And Aline's got both field goals for Virginia Tech, both three. Selfish plug. <laughs> ACC Tournament champs, Brian was the MVP and all the way to the Final Four under Coach Kremens, and that is Mutz. Score the buck and to the line. And he had an excellent shoot around. Aline, uncontested, and rocks the rim with the left hand. Padula trying to get out of some trouble in the corner. They work it into the far corner, and Aline again beating the clock. There's a look, you see, pretty good defense, right? 68 teams, and look at every team and matchup in each region. And at 10 Eastern, even more coverage of both brackets. And as always, you can watch everything streaming live on the ESPN app. Adjustments are coaching up his team. Obviously, Steve Forbes did too, and very deserving of that honor. You're not saying anything but that, but a stick shot along the baseline. Mutt's on the baseline. Got a lot of attention whenever he touches it. Aline leaning in, and rattles in two. The tour, they go around the horn. Aline sticks it, and the whistle as well. It's crazy the amount of rebounds that Armando Baycott has grabbed this year. Storm Murphy buries a three. Well, he can really shoot it. Storm Murphy played at Wofford of their quarterfinal on. And did it against Miami throughout the game. Naheem Aline knocks down a three. A three-year starter.